Hey guys, how you doing guys and gals? And big shout out to my three subscribers out there. Big thank you to Legit Tim, a YouTuber, and Easy Buster. Helped me to, gave me a link in their video on how to find this great place called StockX. Well, it sounds wonderful, sounds great. I like the Legit checks. I've watched quite a few videos on it. And I'm really looking forward to getting a pair of Yeezys. I already talked to the... Uh, my other half about that, and we're definitely on board on the semi-frozen yells. Although she actually likes the blacks, which I point out were like a thousand dollars. But you know, women have expensive tastes to say. Anyways, we're looking for dead stock items. But I was a little bit concerned because I live out here in the sticks. Uh, I realize it's the internet, so you don't really realize when I say sticks what I'm talking about. But we have weird addresses out here, even though we are in the USA. Um, in fact, I have to use three lines on StockX's app to put my full address in. And it's kind of nervous, a little hinky feeling. So before I want to bid on something really expensive, I thought I'd find something cheap. Well, um, the cheapest item I could find that I could bid on was a Supreme hat with the box logo, the red, they call it. Oh, I can't pronounce it, what's it called? But it's a bright red cap. Basically, it's a baseball cap, guys, that says Supreme. I mean, I hate to say it like that, but that's basically it. Um, and I'm sure there's knockoffs out there for three nine nine, and this one, that's why I'm getting it certified. And it's basically the cheapest way I get it. Anyways, it was suggested bidding was forty nine dollars. The way it works is, you put in your bid. Unlike eBay or some of the other forums out there, the moment someone takes your bid, it goes through. The cash goes through. Okay. So make sure if you're buying a thousand dollar Yeezys, you got that grand waiting, okay? And here's something else. <clears throat> there was really no mention of shipping. So when I got my notification, I, I, I got the bid actually at fifty eight dollars is where I won the bid at. And just instantly someone grabbed it. Uh StockX notified me. They notified me by then that the shipping is twenty five dollars. And um I'm an eBay seller. I think $25 is their standard price, whether you're buying a pair of sneaks or a cap or probably a scarf. I'm not complaining. I'm just simply saying I told you guys I'd be honest about this, be transparent, and that's 25 bucks. So just something to guys think about. You know, I think I might be a little bit late to the party on dealing with StockX, but for anyone of those out there who knows that, that's how it works. You open up your app. You have all your information. You uh, you can do buy it now, and it will tell you the buy it now price, which, as I can tell, is literally like a buck more than whatever the asking price is, or sometimes right at the asking price. Uh, there was really no information on sales. It's a brand new item, Stock X says, this particular hat. So there's really no record of sales. Mine might be the very first confirmed sale. It'd be kind of cool. Sadly, because it's a Supreme hat, I probably won't actually wear it. Um, I'm probably going to keep it dead stock and then probably resell it on StockX. Um, anyways, so, off to do errands and mail out stuff and enjoy the rain out there. Well, guys, here we are at the post office. We're going to run inside. I forgot literally the bag of mail. I brought the one box in, but this is not, this is not good. Oh well. You run over to the post office to the mailbox. box. And let's find it here. Alright, let's go. Hey, we'll go ahead and grab some lunch here at Burger Jam here. The Palmer was sell. Yeah, that's selfie mode, so don't worry. It's a camera free man. Yeah, I said to mess with I didn't have a good connection. Anyways, so here we are, right version. We want to order some food. I think I really want to try the bur the uh, Mongolian barbecue, uh, Mongolian beef. But I'm gonna just go ahead and go with the sesame chicken like I usually do. It's just a safer bet. I really like the food here. Eventually, I'll try other menu items, but I'm just starving. I haven't had anything to eat yet today, which is kind of stupid. But I end up, yes, ma'am, end up. Um, Forgetting my mail and stuff, so here we are now. A bit of blue in here, it's okay. Yeah, this is some Mongolian beef, some steaming straight up. And I'm waiting for my chicken to get here.
I'm gonna try something different, but you know, stay with us. Here's we found a hoodie that time. It was over here. No dead stock so far. That's what we found last time. They're all, they're all stuff, I think. Mm, that one's not. Bass fleece. Let's see. An extra large as we just pull overs. Let's just say a little Duck Dynasty shirt. And we've got the rest halves. The rest half sleeves. Nothing really jumping out here. No Nike. We've got What have we got here? Heat gear. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see if we got any dead stock here. No. No dead stock items. I just camp West Point. A's. No, nothing really through here. Really kind of dry here, actually, guys. Hmm. I'm gonna check the snakes on the small, sir. We don't. So, gigantic size Reeboks. Not sure what those are. All stars. Adidas. And we've got. I'm not sure what these are. No champs. And that brings us down to a pair of Nike. Looks like Nike Flex. Size 12s and absolutely beat. Absolutely beat, you guys, through the bottoms. I mean, the fusions are $4. And they're not like that. Um, it could be worse, I guess. Those have some sort of little seals on them. No, guys, it's pretty dry here today. Oh, lots of wristwatches. Um, got an old Pulsar and a bag of Tomics, including some just generic Indicos. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes on the net tonight. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. Pretty dry on clothing and stuff, but um, we'll see the video. Sure do you. We've got a Abercrombie and Fitch. A little muscle shirt, I guess. Double extra large. Um, not one pair size. Those dip shirts. And, um, let's see, you got chaps. Tiny Bahamas. Not really t shirts per se. No, nothing really here. Come down to here. It is three fifty unless tagged differently. Um is that it? Oh here we are, half sleeves. Included with store wide 50% off sale. So. Okay, we'll start down here. At these are medium so sizes are all over the place, looks like. Large. Let's just start an extra large, just see where we're at. One direction, best wall. Well, that was pretty dry in there. Um, did some take for the Abercrombie and Fitch, some couple shirts, but. Just too much, and they're really worn. Holes, um, loose threads. See, they had you. <laughs> um, so I guess we're in the pet shop. Just grab a few items there and uh, call it. Well, that wraps up the day today. 
what we got done is uh, picked up an item that's been on layaway for a long time, well, 40 days. Um, hit a couple of thrift stores. That's going to be in this video. I'm just wrapping it up on this. <sighs> Didn't really find a lot. The watches we interested. I'll be listing those tonight, go through them a little bit more. And of course, got the confirmation that they're just waiting at StockX for that Supreme hat. After seeing pictures of it, it's very different looking uh, cap. Looking really forward to seeing that. And of course, we'll do an unboxing of that. And now, uh, the first Supreme piece I'll be showing on this on this channel. Don't worry, I'm not really planning on going that route either way. But go and just keep unboxing things, showing off Z scale, tips about modeling, weathering. I definitely appreciate any comments or any input from you guys. Big shout out to subscribers. Thank you for everything. Um, please like, subscribe comments are very welcome let's all work this together and make this a big thing and make this a win till next time ciao